Once the state decided to resume hangings after nearly 13 years, three men were carefully handpicked out of the 106 men in death row. They were to be among the first to go. They're all brutal killers. If public outrage against these killers is anything to go by, their fate would have long been sealed. But in the eyes of the law, the decision to hang now raises constitutional rather than emotional issues. That is the law. And if we do not carry out the law, it will bring the whole criminal justice system into disrepute. It's either we abolish hanging or we have it on the books and we carry out the penalty. The appeal does not and cannot argue with the law. Rather, it raises questions about the Constitution, saying the decision to hang the condemned so long after their death sentences were passed is a cruel and unusual punishment and is therefore unconstitutional. But in the Malik case, uh, which went to the Privy Council, yeah. He said to execute him will be cruel, cruel and unusual punishment and the Privy Council rule that first of all it's not unusual because they have been hanging people from time immemorial in Trinidad and throughout the Western world. And if the hanging is done properly, it's not cruel. The government of Trinidad and Tobago gave a commitment that they would in effect grant to people who have spent 10 years in death row a commutation of the death sentence. So we are saying that they are beneficiaries of an act of state which gives them a commutation of the death sentence. There was a legitimate expectation on their behalf. Most of the 106 condemned men are alive because they have appealed. The last hanging in Trinidad took place in 1979, that of Bobby Gransol. He had robbed a van carrying cigarettes and brutally murdered the salesman. Attorney Glenda Morin defended him but lost the case. Gransol did not even consider an appeal. When I dealt with the Abbott case, he had reached a point where he said, OK, let whatever has to be done, let it be done. But when you have relatives on the outside who are pleading for you, they then take up the fight and exhaust all possible remedies. In his case, he didn't have anyone. So that um, I think this is the reason why his hanging was accelerated. In 1981, there was an attempt to hang Julian Marshall. Authorities placed a black seal on his warrant, read it to him, weighed him, dug the hole, built the coffin, laid the trap, and the hangman was ready. He was a um, watchman. In. He was a lookout man. And I think the old man got up and um, Julian Marshall's brother chopped him to death. And Julian Marshall took the rap because his brother was 17 years of age. His brother is still in, inside. Can filed a constitutional motion asking for a stay of execution, and Marshall was eventually pardoned. Can argues that the British system cannot be compared to our infinitely slower system of justice. Given the constraints of our system, he says, it would take at least four years for a guilty man to be hung from the time he committed the crime to the time he goes to the gallows. Well, I think it raises important constitutional questions, and that is as to whether a government can execute people having given a commitment that they would not execute them if they fulfill certain conditions. And I think the act of the government, the word of the government is important because if the government does not have any word, then obviously it doesn't expect other people to have any word. And they may disregard this constitutional motion because some of the constitutional motions have been really frivolous and vexatious and absolutely no, no, no merit. In. Depending on what the Privy Council says, they, they could be reprieved and could be commuted to life imprisonment. And then you start from the with a clean slate. The slate depends on the government, which might decide to abolish capital punishment or retain it with increased vigor. April next year gives us ample time to re-examine our positions, which ultimately tell us more about ourselves as a people and as a society than about the condemned men themselves. In next week's special report, an emotional look at capital punishment. Ira Mathur, TV6 News, with a special report.